This is a video about my 2000 Toyota Tundra. Yesterday as I was getting out, my daughter opened up the door, the rear door at the same time. These are set up so that this one will open and then the rear door will open. But at the exact same time that I was opening up this door, she pulled that and now the latch won't work. So this will be about pulling the uh, door off and trying to find out what's wrong with it. First, I'm going to have to go through and pull off all the screws. There's one there. I have to pop that button off, that one. There might be one behind the light and then I'll work on popping the door panel off. So that one's just a screw and that came off. And these buttons are real simple. Just get a real small flathead tool and you got to get underneath it. Pop it out like that. There's two more pop outs right underneath the door handle. I'm going to have to go ahead and remove right, those. I popped off the covers and they're not the standard Phillips. It's the uh, little star head. It's known as the T30 is the right size. So remove those two bolts. So to pop this off I just the the uh, cover came off really easy. This side is just a little hook. This side was a little trickier. I had to push a screwdriver against that and then it came right out. On the inside I had these three clips and you just have to push the center of it and that will release it. They were kind of hard to see because they were on the other side of the door. Here's the other one. So you just have to push those and pull them straight out. On inspecting the cable I can see it's got a good attachment here and moves with the lever. So this part of it isn't broken and also you can see that the uh, locking mechanism works just fine so my problem has to be down on this part of the attachment so I'm gonna have to open that up and look into that so in tracing the wires this is the one that isn't working and they cross over right here so it stays on top there's nothing else I can reach in there so now I'm gonna have to remove these I've three removed these three bolts and now the only way to get to it is to remove this plastic piece here the, it's kind of holding it all together and so there's one Phillips screwdriver there. So to get this one off there's a kind of a mushroom plastic piece that pops out and you just have to be gentle with it. You can't really get to the other side to squeeze it. Maybe if you can you can squeeze those in and push it out but I just put a flathead screwdriver and kind of pried it slowly and that one came out. Next I need to remove this plastic piece and it's in two sections and it has uh, this button in there holding this spot and you need to put a flathead screwdriver between the two and then it will pop now right out. that part out the whole locking mechanism is connected to this so we have uh, one bolt to remove there. Up to this point I have been working on it with the window down and I had to pl plug it back into this adapter and raise the window up uh, so that I have more space to work in there. Now I'm going to have to unhook the external door and try and get it to slide out for us. Because the location of all the hardware and the door bracket, and the locking mechanism is behind the slide of the window. Got to remove this 10 millimeter bolt and this 10 millimeter bolt to remove the slide track on the window. All right, getting this part out was the hardest because you have these little attachment sites and it's hard to see but there's a little plastic clip that slides down on it so you have to blindly reach in there grab that plastic clip and roll it upward and it will pop it off and then you can slide this part out of it just straight out and then after that you're able to well inspecting it out. my problem I uh, 
So as I pull the handle, I can see where the cable comes through there, but it has broken away from the little eyelet that holds it and makes it move. So I'm going to have to get the cable replaced in order to finish my problem. And uh, it looks like it's just one little toggle thing that I'll have to work into. I'll have to remove this plastic cover and then it should be pretty easy to uh, put a new cable in there. Okay, so I removed the black cover that was in my way. I did have to remove this plastic piece here and you just put a little screwdriver in there and pop it straight out this way. And then this is my problem. You can see right here where the cable has busted off from the little button there. And so I need to go online and see how much I can buy that part for. So I went to the local Toyota store. They had this in stock, ready to go. This is the replacement part. That's where it broke, just where that little tab connects to the wire. This is about $7 fix. So to replace the wire, we have to take off. There's another 10 millimeter bolt right there. Got to remove it so we can detach it from the handle. So I removed that 10 millimeter bolt and this part right here just pops straight back off from in there and it comes straight out and detaches from there. That's the new one. Just put that back in. You can see how that goes in and ran the wires through the plastic door panel. Reinstalled the 10 millimeter bolt. So this is the bad one still in. I'm going to pop that off and put the new one in and you can see that's where the little toggle goes. This is what it looks like with the new one installed. You can see how it all connects. And then as we pull the handle, it activates the lever. So problem solved. Now we just need to install the last few parts. So I've inserted the door unit. I reattached the upper locking mechanism and the lower mechanism for the key. And uh, it's not put in solid yet, but uh, everything's ran. I'm gonna attach the three bolts on the outside to hold it in place. I've screwed the three star pattern in back in there so it's sitting in there solid. This little latch and I need to put in that screw. I've reattached my wires so they are in and ready to go and this one's been reinstalled so we are just about wrapped up. Now it's time to reinstall the window track. I've ran the top part through and the track is all hooked to this rubber sealant so you got to make sure you rerun it back inside there and then there's a lower bolt there that you need to Next, replace. Next we re reinstall the guide plate and this you just after you've put in that screw and the plastic just clips right up in there this clips right down in there and that will make sure that your slides go properly. To check, check the track out and to make sure everything was working okay I uh, plugged in do the electrical part, drop the window down. It seems to function properly. Now it's time to hook up all the plastic and reseal the door off. When attaching the plastic back, a lot of the factory seal will still go back on. It's kind of a rubbery gel, but in the areas that won't, you can go ahead and put some uh, packaging tape on and that will just help re-secure the seal and make sure not to cover up any of your holes because they're going to need to be used here in a second when we put the door back on. Now would be a good time to check the door and make sure it functions properly. And this, oh, I put a bottle in here. Okay, outside works good. And our problem was the inside and it works good. So now reinstall all the, now it's time to reinstall the door panel. And be sure to get all of your wires.
So that's it. Got everything put back in. Make the work great.